Hello everybody and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda. So, in the previous episodes we've done some stuff. Um, I had to re-record this episode, but essentially, uh, nothing happened. Uh, have, I did go in here and there is actually something here. There is a heart piece. Um... Freaking, uh, yes, I understand that the rock has cracks in it and it could be blown up and it's crazy, I know. So, there is a heart piece here. We could just wait until we have other things. Yeah, this seems to be the pain. Is okay, let's like swap these around so that I have them on the, my. Part of my hand that knows what to do with them. There we go. So we got the pizza part. Early. Um, and I could go up. But I do think going out this way is just better for you. Meaning me and us. Collectively, I guess. We did get that one. Um, I'm gonna hold off on getting the secret seashells until I know that we can get uh, the amount we need. Instead of just like trying to gung ho it and be silly. Um, I've looked up where um, they are. There's 26 in total, and you only need 18 on the overworld. Uh, which is nice to know. Um, and I'm th presuming that it's probably around this area where we need to go. I'm not sure, I haven't looked up any progression things. So not that way. Um, would it be down? I think it would be to the right. Ah! Ah, Because I feel like it would be around the river side. Because what we have to do is get to the other side of the river. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a really good day. I've been, um, relaxing, mostly. I think there's one there. I don't know how to get to... Oh, uh. uh, if it's that one, then we would have already gotten it. Oh no, this was the way. I'm an idiot. Good thing we spent like all of uh, last episode doing um, something fun, because I would have been mad if like uh, all of last episode was just me being actually stupid. Um, right, right, right. In the village. Ah, in the village again. I always think of the Monster Hunter villages whenever I see this one now. Like, obviously when I was a kid I never played Monster Hunter, but nowadays especially I always think of, like, um, I think it's Mufa Village, like, uh, Generations Ultimate. I always think of those type of places whenever I think of, uh, whenever I see these imagery. Awesome. Oh, we ha uh, right. I got, I unlocked the other one in a in the episode that I had to get cut. Hi ho! Hey you, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out, would you swap it for a pineapple? Yeah, sure. Exchange thing for pine. It's not as sweet, but it is delicious. Thank you, Papa Bear. I really didn't need to know that information. 
That's the invisible person. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Freaking weird ass goat lady who fucking catfishes fucking the guy from uh, SimCity. No way, that's a real person. Ow. Jeez, we're taking so much time. Um, here is another one. Let's see, show. Oh, right, we had a potion. I mean, I guess I don't mind then. How are those animals able to be so safe in this world? It is a mystery. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Tan says there's nothing beyond the sea, but I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart, it skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. <sighs> if I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly and fly away places and sing for many people. If I wished to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. <sighs> hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? <sighs> I want to know everything about you. Uh, I... <laughs> huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? It doesn't matter. I will go with you to him. And that's how you get women. You got Marin, this is your big chance. I do like how Seasons does uh, obviously reference Zelda 1 a lot, but also references this game. Uh, both games have a moment, like, you know, you both go to the beach to get your sword. Um, obviously, for us, we did the linked campaign, so it's a bit different. Uh, but also, Rosa is very similar in a uh, feel. You li she's literally in a beach, uh, which uh, similarly as well, you have to go down like that way in a little crevice area to get to that otherwise you would not go to ever. Uh, and it's just small things like that that are so amazing to me. Like there's so many cute little references to so many different games, um, and I can't wait for all of those to really be shown uh, as we play. Uh, the Zelda series. Um. But yeah. Going forward, we'll go to the Animal Village. And get to Yana Village. By the way, Marin doesn't even need the teleportation thingamajiggy. She just jumps that t uh, tall. She's actually a Superman. Well, actually a Superwoman. She jumps so high. Ah, oh, it's her little Marin. She ain't little. Lost woman. Ah, oh, it's her. Oh, everyone, just gonna gush this Mount Marin. I do love that everyone is like. It's like the Nehru thing where it's like everyone loves Nehru. Yes, is that the lady you always? Shall I give him a little surprise? Immediately wakes up. Look how happy he is. He's so happy. <laughs> wow, he certainly woke up at the start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Haha. <laughs> Link, I'm gonna go to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? And now she's off to take care of the animals while we fucking... <laughs> Are those meant to be walrus skulls? I hope not. But yeah, it's really cute and wholesome. It, it kind of reminds me of like Animal Crossing. Stop. Uh, Animal Crossing and all that. I wish that, um, like, I wish game good. That's what I wish. Here's another one. Grand Secret Seashell! If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Um, yeah, you can basically, I think you have to get the Dungeon 4. But basically, a dungeon four, you're able to get um everything. Essentially, a dungeon four, you should have both the bow, and you should have the um like literally everything, the bow and everything else. Um, just because I'm so confident.
Um, so this is one of those um, areas that everyone always complains about whenever they play this game. Because it really doesn't make much sense. Um, but here's another piece of pop. Um, so we are halfway done with all of the pieces of heart. Collecting them, that is. Um, so like, yeah, this game really is like one of those games where if you if you can figure out or like do stuff, annoyance you are only getting in the way. There goes my confidence. We're gonna have to play Zelda. Oh, God, actually, I'll burn. The power of Frame Zero Sword is so strong. Everyone's always like, "Oh, but in Breath of the Wild, you can parry." So, uh, Breath of the Wild Link is obviously uh, the best Link, and um, you can't parry a Frame Zero move. If you had a Frame Zero parry, you could parry a Frame One move, but not the other way around. We do have double damage right now. Yeah, the angular's key. Awesome. I always forget that that's what that's for. Here's the hooty boy. Hoot! The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade. Water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you'll reach your goal. Hoot hoot. And we also have the big ass sword. This scene really does feel so nostalgic after we've finished uh, seasons and ages. Uh, mainly ages. This really does just feel like uh, Nehru all over again. I did want to. I really did want to play um, these game uh, ages and seasons first because I do think they have more substance. But I also think it's cooler to be able to see after the fact a lot of these um, little references and stuff because I feel like they really helps show off a lot more things. Like if it was just like me being like. Oh, keep that in mind for when we play Ages and Seasons. It wouldn't have uh, hit as hard. Right, and that goes over there to the face dungeon, which we don't really need. Ow. Have a charge through a fish. I know I don't. Not usually, at least. Ooh, heart. We'll get, um... The reward for 10. Apparently, though, in the Switch version, there's 50 secret seashells, which is such an like, exorbitant amount. We're getting close, though. Eh. I guess I must have already gotten that one. Which is fine. The worst moment is one of one of those sword guys that are like ding 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 ding. They go from like that to this, and then they just freak you up. Um, but the thing that's funny is because Link is actually left-handed. Uh, like they have the same sword here, but their sword is actually on the other hand when they look upward, which is uh, a small, tiny detail. Um, I'll try to show it again. Um, the dead Um, cool. We'll go upward, and then as soon as we finish the fourth dungeon, we'll go and get, um, actually we need to be past this area. That's a 
different area as well there. I'm trying to think of all the little um, tiny areas where you can get super seashells. That I would definitely just miss. There's one there. Um, but you also need, there's another one there as well that needs the flippers, so we'll do both of those at once. Um, like small things like that, you know, where it's just like, oh, you can get this one, but you also need this one. We're only, we're only gonna probably get 20 of the seashells. I do swear, if I'm just running around in circles, I will lose my mind. God! I'm not in the wrong area. That's what I mean, like, sometimes these maps can actually be kind of confusing. And the thing, the one notch I have against, um, ages, is it doesn't need to be, um, overly complicated to be like this. All you need is some similar feeling areas. Like a lot of these areas kind of gel in your mind. So when you see one of them, you're like, oh yeah, that seems about right. And you don't really question it. And that's what really uh, makes the map hard to navigate, is just the fact that things kind of just make sense in your mind. Ah. <sighs> One thing that is interesting to me is, is Marin and Taran even a couple? Or are they kind of just like good friends? Because it does seem like uh, Marin has a crush on you, but that would seem really odd if um she was already with Taran. So I presume that they're not a couple. The one moblin that didn't look up still damaged me anyway, but still. It is interesting how many times we've walked through here. Like, probably way more than what people normally would. I think in the switch. Oh no, it's in randomizers. In randomizers, uh, one of those is replaced with a rock, so you don't need Bow Wow. I think this is like a legitimate thing. So I'll leave here, put the stuff in, and then I think we go to the Tal Tal Heights. Meep Morp is yet again playing good old Smashy Bros. I am thinking like, oh, maybe I'll get Smash Bros Ultimate again. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Metroid Dread, because with Zelda, I do want to do a Metroid Dread style uh, thing where I go through all of the normal Metroid games in original release order and stuff. So I do like Metroid 1, uh, Metroid 2, but like I don't do any of the remakes. Metroid Fusion and then Metroid Dread as like a, a Let's Play series. Oh, Super Metroid as well. I always forget that it's a five game series. I was watching, it's like a three hour video, really long, but uh, it's like a video of someone playing through Dread Mode, which I would never be able to play because I do get hit in video games, uh, as we've been able to see all episode. Um, which is essentially, you know, if you get hit once, you have to restart the entire thing, there's no saving. Uh, and they finish it in three hours, and it's like cool, like, then it's probably like a really cool speedrun kind of mode. Because it's kind of like made for speedrunning, you can't really save, so it's not like you, it's like you know, do it in a single session. Which I do like that Metroid Dread is designed to be able to be played like that. It would suck if it wasn't. 
That's probably four thousand percent of sea chill. So, uh, if you guys remember, there was a guy who said that he would uh, be lost in the mountains later. Uh, he was the husband of uh, the person we get the Yoshi doll to. And I think we're going to be seeing them pretty shortly. Now, is this one of the other ones? No, that's just a normal. Yeah, that's annoying. Right, I remember this. The thing that's crazy, um... I realize that there's an actual exit here. Ah, so there's money on this side. How much? 50 rupees! That's still nice. That means we essentially just need 300, because, you know, it's 380. So, technically, there's the guy who really needs a pineapple. Hitting himself in the head 85 times. Only funny the first time. I do think that this is the better version of this game to play. Like, the rest of the game just doesn't warrant being in HD. Like, I feel like this just works. Yep, Papal got lost, just like he said. Now I'm so famished, I can't move. Can you give me some, uh, vittles? This pineapple is so delicious. I'm gonna eat the pineapple right now. Bon appetit. I need that sprite of him eating food as like a sub alert. Ah, this isn't meant to be a reward, but here, take this hibiscus. You traded the pineapple for the food. Yeah, but this is a long thing where you have to get like the magic bird or whatever. Long story. <sighs> That's a yawn and a half today. This one. Yeah, I'm gonna record two more episodes. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go and record some other series. I do believe that is where we need to go. Okay, so I guess it is where we are going to go. Crazy that you can even flip over the rocky ones too. I love frame zero sword so much, it's such a cool little weird thing. But yep, yeah, in the next episode we will be going into the Angler's Cave and ba hopefully battling uh, one of the funniest little bosses that there is in the game. But yep, yeah, I'll see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Goodbye.